Hey guys, Coach P. Thank you for tuning in to Championship Muscle today. I'm here at Fortify Fitness in Valrico, Florida, and we are going to train some calves. Calves are probably the hardest body part to get to grow. Honestly, I've been genetically gifted to have very good calves and very good legs, but I'm going to show you what I do to help with my calf development, okay? First thing I'm going to do is, since my gym doesn't have a seated calf machine, I utilize the Smith machine and I put a, four, a small 45 pound plate and a larger 45 pound plate. Lower the machine down. I use a pad to help protect my legs and I just slide in on the bench and I start doing the calf raises. So I'm gonna demonstrate, okay? I get my legs in. My feet are about, I'd say two inches apart, three inches apart. I raise the weight off of the, off of the rack, come back. And I go down nice and slow and get a deep stretch. You can see where it, where it hits me through here with the deep stretch. And when I come up, I squeeze and it hits all the calf muscle. Nice and slow, squeezing, continuous repetition. No bouncing, no fast repetitions. It's not a race. Slow, continuous repetitions. Very effective, I can go very, very deep. That's probably a six inch drop between the 45 pound plate and the smaller 45 pound plate on the bottom. Just like this, okay? When I'm done, I come up, turn the bar, set it on the rack, and then we we're gonna go on to the next exercise. I might do two or three sets of this, and I do reps to failure. Failure doesn't have a set number. It's not 15 or 20 reps until I can't do anymore, until my calves are screaming. And that's, that's one set for me. Do I drop set this sometimes? But a lot of times I don't, because just the high reps is enough to really put me over the edge. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. Hey guys, the next exercise I'm gonna do is a kettlebell foot raise that's gonna work the very top of the calf muscle, okay? What I do is I take a kettlebell, put it around the front of my foot, and I let my leg stretch out across the bench. All I want is my foot to be free over the top of the bench. I go down, let it stretch the top of the calf muscle, top of the leg, and I come up and squeeze at the top, just like this. And again, I do reps to failure. And this will exhaust and totally fatigue the top of the calf muscle. Everyone's always concerned about the back of the calf. They neglect the front part of the calf. This is very important, especially when you're at the highest levels of competition, national, professional, international, everything counts. And this helps complete the development on the front of the calf. Again, reps to failure. Failure doesn't have a number. Okay, let's go on to the next exercise. All right guys, the next exercise and final exercise for my calf workout is the seated leg press, where I do calf raises on the seated leg press. This allows me to get a very, very deep stretch and also a very good squeeze at the top. I'll demonstrate. First off, I push the weight up, and then I position my feet. And I go all the way down to about the balls of my feet at the bottom of the, the machine. All I do is I start with a deep stretch coming towards me, and I push up. I hold for a second, and I come down. No bouncing. Slow, controlled movements. Just like this. Okay, just like this.
This is what years of training has done for my calf development. These are over 20 inches. This calf I tore years ago when I, I slipped and fell and tore my quadricep tendon, but it's still very well developed. Okay, that's about all I do for calves. I hope you guys have a good day. Thank you for tuning into my channel. Any questions, please reach out to me at www.championshipmuscle.com. Peace out. Thank you.